Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Carl Rise Plays Airport CEO. As you can see on your screen our airport is working really well with our general aviation flights but now we need to build some commercial flights. If you remember in the last episode we unlocked the baggage handling system so we have built a room in the interim uh, for these belts. Now I want two belts. I want one that services uh, this side of the airport down here. This side here. And I want another one that does this side as well. So these checking desks will connect to the left one and these checking desks to the right one. So we've now got um, these baggage belts available to us and we'll get those built now in our room. So first of all we'll do our right hand side one and then we'll build our left hand side one as well. Now we need to connect these up to the um, checking desks, but first I want to have a look at our staffing and see how many ramp agents we have. So we've currently got three and we need two on each of them. So get another one there. So we now have four available. This one's been built. So we need to connect our checking desk and our stand to that one before it will work. And the same with the other one as well. So, so far we have these two uh, down here and these two here. So I'm going to connect uh, this one here to the connect baggage bay. And connect it to that one. And this one as well, connect baggage bay to this one here. So those two are now connected and these ones will be connected. Once we get some more commercial flights and these are still on general aviation at the moment. So these are all of these checking desks are now connected to that. These two stands are connected to that. So we just need to do the same on the other side to connect to this one. And then what we need to do is connect our ramps up as well to the actual checking desk themselves and also to the baggage claim as well. So I'm going to carry on with this and I'm going to bring you guys back in just a second. So the first thing we need to do is connect all of these baggage belts together and make sure it's all flowing in the correct direction. So if we start here and if we rotate that because we want it going in this direction like so up to about here. There you go so they're all on now and if we go back to baggage belts and now get an underground baggage belt and just make sure again that it's flowing in the correct direction. We can then take it down to here and see where we are in relation to the area. So about there, I'd say. Let's see if that lines up. So if we go over to the uh, ramp itself and we'll be able to see just how it all connects up. So it needs to come into this side here so if we do it like that and bring it all the way down uh, we'll be able to connect that up to the checking desk. I'm going to do this with this side and the other side and I'm going to bring you guys back in just a second. Welcome back everybody. I have laid out uh, all of the carousels that go from these cargo bays here to the checking desks and also to these baggage areas down here. So both of them, they have a separate baggage bay. Um, so we should be able to make sure that all the bags are loaded onto the planes and off the planes as quickly as possible. Uh, these have all been changed to commercial now. Um, so all we need to do now 
is activate these. We should have enough ramp agents to activate them. That's that one on and that one on. What we do need to do, however, is get ourselves some... So we're waiting for our staff at the moment. We need to get ourselves some vehicles as well. So if we go to staff and vehicles, you'll see that we have uh, no vehicles to take the uh, baggage on and off. So we go to operations or economy, economy and then procurement. And if we go down to service trucks, I believe. Because we have the baggage handling system open. So if we go to service trucks, uh, yeah, baggage and cargo. So if we order, say, we can only order them in ones. Um, uh, so if we do... We should then have five of those, hopefully, once they're procured. So you'll see here that the trucks are making their way in. That's two, three, and four. And we should have one more. Yep, number five there as well. So there's all of our trucks right here. We don't seem to have any staff. Which is interesting because we hired them. <laughs> so if we go into staff and we search by ramp agent. Did we not hire any? I'm sure we hired some. Security. No, we haven't. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did, but you know, <laughs> we'll hire some now. One, so we need at least two per um, one there. So there's two for each uh, ramp. What we do need to do is change this runway from general aviation to commercial as well. So that stops the general aviation flights using uh, that particular runway. And this will now be the general aviation runway. So they'll come off the general aviation section onto the runway here. And all of our commercial flights will come off here onto this runway right here. So we should very shortly see our staff arriving at the ramps. So what we haven't done is provided a way for our guys to get there. We provide a sidewalk along here up until the um, ramps themselves to here and then put a sidewalk in this section here, put a little door on there, and a door on this side as well, the ability for them to get to where they need to be. Okay, so we'll let that get built and we'll bring guys back in just a second. So there we go, our ramp agents are in place. I had to add in this um, security area here, down here, and through here. I also added a little security checkpoint just for employees here. Not sure if I need that or not, but it seemed like a good idea because we don't want passengers going through that and going on to the rest of the airport. So we have the ramp agents in place. We have our vehicles in place. We have our stands in place, our runway in place, checking desks and everything like that. So now we should be able to... Why is an iron broken? What's broken? What's broken guys? What's broken? This here. There you go, we've just hired a service technician and he is uh, going around 
fixing everything that's broke now as you can see it's going to come back over here and fix that one so there you go we have a service technician available and um, so now we should be able to get some commercial flights in hopefully so if we go into operations we'll see that everything is enabled for our baggage system uh, and if we go to economy and then contracts we should be able to get ourselves a contract with an airline. So uh, we're going to get maybe a six day one. Sign that. And then we go into flight planner and we open it up and we start adding these flights onto the area here. So we'll bob these on here. At, you know, we'll try and space them out as much as we can just to make sure that the systems are all working properly. Um, there we go. So now we should see our commercial flights working. So there should be passengers that come in, drop off their baggage, there's some passengers there. I don't know what gate they're on, they're on that gate by the look of it. Yeah, people are sitting down. So if we go through here you can see when the open. So this check-in opens at 6.30 so that should be open. Ah, we have no staff. Ah, we have no airport staff. I got pause quick. <laughs> staff. We've got no airport staff, have we? We need them. <laughs> I'm going to just hire everyone because we need them for the checking desks and we need them for our uh, inquiry desks as well. There we go, so if we restart the game. That's not good, that's not going to make the airline happy. <laughs> so there you go, there's now staff here. And they can start taking passengers. And they're all going to go in now. And check in. And their bags are going off. So if we just slow it down a second. With my recording software running, it means it's really slow to move about the game, which is not the same when uh, the recording software isn't running. So, uh, let's speed it back up again. So we should, if this all works, we should see bags coming onto this ramp. There we go. So they're coming onto here right now. There's one, two, three, four... So they're all coming onto there, and that shows that it works properly. And we should have one of the carts come out of here. And let's see if the plane's here. The plane's just coming in here, by the look of it. So you should see the little... Um, going over to collect the baggage from the last flight that should then go to to here once the uh, the um, service cart has collected all the baggage that should come onto here and go on this side and drop off all the baggage here it comes so that's collecting the new baggage for the uh, outgoing plane, I believe. So they're all coming off the planes now. The carts are there, collecting all of the baggage from those planes. So they each need a ramp agent, which I forgot about. Here you go, where the car carts are up here, all dropping off and collecting baggage. And there's some of the baggage going around right there. There you go, so you saw that baggage going round right there. So it looks like 
our system works perfectly. Hopefully. <laughs> it looks like it does. Um, you know, we have enough ramp agents now. Because um, you need ramp agents for these. And you also need ramp agents for when the, the uh, baggage comes off the planes as well. And also we need um, airport staff to do uh, the check-in desks, the boarding gates, and the information desks down here as well. So yeah, that's our first set of commercial flights done. We're on to a few at the same time at the moment, so hopefully our systems can all work perfectly and we don't get any issues with the planes. Because we'll see in here if we have um, the airlines complaining, it will be in here saying that they missed a service, for example. But I think we have enough um, carts by the look of it. And we have enough uh, fuel as well. So yeah. I think our airport is working really, really well. So let's get a few more planes. So if we select one of these, uh, we can sign another contract and go into Flight Planner and put a few more of these on because I think it uh, seems to be working really rather well. We've got to be careful because we have to give them at least uh, three hours notice of the plane coming into the airport. So we'll put a few up here, and luckily because we have enough stands, we should be able to get all these in, hopefully. On there, we'll put one on number two as well, and last one to lock in is this one here. I think we can handle all them at once. <laughs> Hopefully, if we have enough staff. So there we go, guys. In this episode, we set up our ramps, uh, we set up all of our baggage system, and we got some commercial flights running as well. So I think our airport is looking pretty nice. That's going to do us for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hit that like button if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.